Okay, I am back. In last tutorial, we are created, we are import some textures, we are creating some sprites from these textures, and we are create first level, game level. Okay, what we will do now? We are create new folder. Name of this folder will be blueprints. Blueprint, something like that. And I don't know, I change color for blue. You know why? Okay, very good. So, right click in empty space and create new blueprint class. Here you have some, <coughs> sorry, here, here you have some classes, so I will use a pawn. Uh, pawn and character is very, very similar classes, but in character you already have some press setup of your uh, walking, some jumping, some, some everything. In pawn you have some empty uh, actor class, uh, sorry, empty character class. So I create a this and I will give a name my power something like that so it is will be our actor open that and what we have we have like this window inside for a moment we haven't nothing so one by one we will start to create some some I don't know some options inside okay we are going here select default scene and inside we will add new component Name of this component will be sprite, paper sprite. Uh, name of the sprite will be bull. As you remember, we are create some bull before. Check my tutorial with Cinema 4D. Okay, source sprite, we are jumping, select bull and jumping here to source sprite. Source. And as you can see, I have all sprites already here, but not any textures, only sprites. So I select my bull. And what I get? I get a really, really very, very big bull. I like to reduce the size of this bull, maybe for 0, 1, 0, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 1, for a moment, like that. Okay, uh, as you can see here, I have some ball, but it is normal, it is like at center of my actor. This is like standard ball, we'll keep like this. So, now I take my bull and move a little bit up. I don't know, maybe... Maybe a little bit more. No, it's too much. So as you can see, it's moving every 10. If I, if I move every 10. I don't like it. I like to move every, for example, 5. I'm going here and put it 5. Now, yeah, I put something like a 25, something like that. Okay, this will be center of my actor and bull will be somewhere on this position. What I will do now. I am going for again default scene and add new component. Name of this component will be camera. Just standard camera. As you can see, it's created some camera. So what I will do, going for uh, select rotation tool and rotate this camera for 90 degrees, something like that. Take this camera and put somewhere, somewhere back. Now I show you how to set up camera, something like that. Okay. So, first of all, uh, our camera will be not perspective, our camera will be orthographic. Yeah, and I don't know, I don't change anymore. Yeah, only I change some, 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 some options with radio. I am selected, uh, going for radio, and here I have choice, what I will use. I will use a full HD, so it will be... 90, 20, 4, 10, 80, something like that. Select it and com compile. So close to compile, you have some small arrow. We are going here. We are going save, save on compile and save always. So every time when we are push compile, our project will get an automatic save. Additionally, we can use a um, inside in project settings as I remember. So I put a save, mm, it's not, I think it's not here, but just moment, somewhere, somewhere we have some automatic save, maybe it is, will be editor preference, maybe it will be somewhere here, just moment, I again put save, yeah, maybe it's here, okay, loading save, you see, yes, frequency and minutes, so, uh, every 10 minutes is too much for me. I like to save every every five minutes. 
and warning give me warning five five seconds before yes every five minutes i will get automatic save in our in our folder so it will help you sometimes unreal engine can going to shut down and in this reason we are not used to or not lose too much information if you like sometimes when i work i use only one minute every one minute save but for a moment my tutorial like prepare it before i will use every five minutes so it's just information okay we are back to our uh, character and we are get like this so what we will do now just take it and make it smaller for example something like that uh, now if i play i again haven't nothing on my uh window for this reason i have to take my pawn drag and drop here on my empty window after that i going for my pawn location and take this pawn for zero 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 something like that if i play again i cannot see nothing why it's happened and why it's coming like this uh, because my pawn i select my pawn ah stop I have to stop select my pawn and here i have make a choice first of all i am going for input after receive input i for a moment put player zero one save play and again i cannot see nothing i also going to after process playing and also player zero one save play and now i have my bull so these options after process player will give me information that from this pawn started like i started my level or something like that something like that yeah uh, just a second i have to check something give me one second yeah okay sorry uh for a moment this input we are disabled for a moment like this because later we will use this disable okay and now how to set up a more correct camera i am going for my viewport yeah i get it you see i have this bull but i cannot see camera where is my camera come on something wrong okay this is camera it's, it's very very black yeah this camera so select this camera and now now to see what is going on we will add some texture on background take texture uh, no i cannot do it i can take only sprite so right click sprite and create sprite from this reason we are not using a extract sprite we are use a create sprite now i get the sprite sprite put inside in the folder of sprite move here open and take it somewhere here okay i get it uh, i think i will make a little bit smaller size maybe 020202 for a moment put it on zero position and maybe a little bit back something like that maybe minus minus 100 just for 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 a moment after that select camera and here you have some small button pin just take it okay now we are take background and as you can see it's moving somewhere inside so maybe i just go a little bit closer just to show you what is going on something like that so it is it is our screen it is our full hd screen and as you can see my background is really really very small i am going here and i increase size for 0.3 for a moment okay and check it now yeah very good it is almost and it is almost so i will keep some something like that now i like to put my bull uh, somewhere in this position so how to do it we are open again blueprints we are going for my blueprint class I'm going to viewport take a camera and start move our camera as you can see it's moving 
moving very fast. So my camera will be somewhere. I don't know. Now we will check. We will check what we will do. First of all, we are pick up camera for somewhere 100, 120, maybe something like this. It will be 175. Location zero. Okay, for a moment, location zero. It will be like at center. After that, we are drag and drop for 180. Yeah, 180. For a moment, maybe I'll keep like this. So, and now again, take my background. Yeah, I save, compile, save. Take my background. No, 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 not bull, not bull. Background, sorry. Yeah. Take this, pin, take background, little bit top, and somewhere here. So, this will be our location. Save current selection, and that's all. Okay. So, now if I play, I already have something. It is like a beginning of game. But if I push any button, I haven't any result. So, now we are create some jump for my bull. If I push some spice bar or touch on my touch screen, I will have some jump. So how to do it? We are going for uh, we are going for my bull, my pawn. Open it. Open for full screen. And from viewport, jump to event graph. So this is event graph. This is where is we can take some information. Uh, this I no need. Just delete. Everything what we are need, we are take later. Okay, first of all, right click. And as you remember, in my last tutorial, we are create my jump action, action event. Uh, if you are don't check my previous tutorials, just check how to create it. So, and as you can see, here I have some options, press it and release it. So what I like to receive, when I press, so select book, yeah. When I press, I like to set, as I remember, world, just moment, yeah, set world location and world, world location for bull, you see. Okay, it's mean if I press action button, my bull location will change. So, going to viewport and check it now. For example, X, Y, Z, yes, 1, 2, 3. I take, for example, 100, something like this, yeah? And now we will check, going to event graph, and this is last options, I make 100, something like that. New location. So, compile, play, and look at this. If I push spice bar, my bull change his location. So, before it was down, now it's jumping up. But it not looks like a jump. Uh, so, what we will do now? What we will do now? Inside, we can create some timeline. So, before jump, I like to receive smooth, not just jump to 100, just smooth line. In Unreal Engine, we have these options. We are going down and you will get add timeline. So, name of this timeline will be, like, I, I don't know, jump time, maybe something like that, okay? We are going inside, and as you can see, it's added some new information. So, uh, what we have? Here we can create some float, some vector, some some different other options. We are create some float. Uh, length of my jump will be only 0 0.5 seconds. So, I create 0 0.5 seconds, something like that. Yeah. Now we are create as I remember, counter, no, spice, yeah, shift, shift, sorry, shift, enter, left click. We are create two, uh, two points. So, first point will be, on time zero, will be zero coordinates. Second point will be, on time 0 0.5, this is full length of my animation, uh, it will be, give me to remember, it will be somewhere 180, so, my bull jump too much. Take it. 
and now I cannot see second point. I have these two buttons. So first of all, I push like this, and then I push like this. And finally, I will get all my jumpies somewhere here. So select it. Yeah, for a moment, I don't change nothing. I show you what we are getting now. Going here and look at this. I push a spice and I get nothing. Going to event graph and here I have new track. Yeah. So jump, you see name of this new track. I can remain and it will be like a, I don't know, smooth jump, something like that. Doesn't matter. So going to event graph and I have smooth, you see, smooth. So I have to change this slowly. And I cannot do it, I cannot connect it, because here, as you can see, green and here is yellow. So I take it and make it from uh, spin structure pin. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Yeah, going back. I have the smooth jump. And now I have this three location X, Y, Z. I take the smooth jump and put inside that location. Something like that. So compile and play. Now, if I push spice, just a moment, I have smooth jump, as you can see. Again, something like that. So, and my jump coming not from uh, not from my location. As you can see, in beginning is jumping down and then up. Why it's like this? Because my bull have uh, my bull have uh, location in beginning 25, as you can see. But my jump, if I open back, this in zero, coming from zero. So here I push also 25, compile and jump again. You see, it's jumping from my directly from my position. Okay, very good. What we will do now? I have one more options. Release. If I press, it is going on top. But if I release, I like to receive reverse. As you understood, here coming from 25 to 180, but reverse from 180 to 25 again. How it will be? Compile, play and check. Push, release. Push, release. If I make like this, it will be very small jump. You see. Almost flappy bird. Very good. It is done. Uh, but it not looks like a jump. So we are going back for jump line and select this and select this. Select to this uh, points keyframes. Push right click and make it not liner, make it auto. Now you will get like this line. And take this first line and make something similar to my something something like that. Something like that. Okay. So save, play, and okay. It's already looks like jump. Very good. So uh, for a moment we are create our pawn. We are create our bull camera and we are show I show you now how to make this job. So very good. For a moment this tutorial completed. See you in next time. Uh, subscribe, put like and share with your friends. Goodbye everybody.